Hello everyone, welcome to Beta Empires. Friends, we discussed about all the devices and attachments of the MRT Ultra package in the theory session. Now, let us check it physically. MRT Ultra package has many attachments and devices. But its main device is MRT Ultra SATA controller card. This is an MRT Ultra SATA controller card. MRT Lab claims that this is world's first PCI 2.0 supported card. Many features are available in MRT hardware and software combination, which are very helpful in data recovery and hard disk repairing work. This supports flash ROM programming. It has the facility to repair the damaged firmware of the hard disk. We can reset the hard disk password with the help of this. It has the facilities like virtual head map, disk imaging, selective head disk cloning, flash programming and creating LDR. We will discuss all the features and data recovery processes in the coming modules. Let us check its hardware first. The main attachment of the MRT tool is MRT Ultra PCI SATA controller card. It is visible here that this is MRT Ultra SATA 64 era card. It has hard disk power supply sockets on its backside. These sockets control the power in the hard disk. There are four SATA channels available under the power socket. These are used for data transmission. Channel marking is done behind the power supply socket. First is channel 0, then it is channel 1, then channel 2, and last is channel 3. All four channels can be used parallel for hard disk repairing and data recovery work. Here. We can see the sockets for MRT power input. Connect SMPS 4 pin latex connector to the power input here. Here, an IDE connector is available. From this IDE port, we can repair the IDE hard disk. When we activate this IDE port through software, then ATA 3 channel gets closed automatically, and the IDE port gets activated. There is a connector on the SATA controller card for ROM programming. The MRT programmer is connected to this. So guys, this MRT Ultra PCI SATA controller card is the main device of MRT. Another attachment of MRT is a USB to UART adapter. This is a dual core communication channel adapter. Here are COM0. COM0 is the first communication channel. And COM1 is the second communication channel. Here, a CP2105 dual communication IC is connected. This is the IC for the serial communicator. Here is a USB 2.0 type B connection port. This is used to connect the UART to the system. The next device of MRT utility is an MRT programming unit. Any sort IC can be read and written with the help of this programming unit. If there comes a problem in reading the ROM of any hard disk through ATA or serial port, or the ROM is physically damaged, then we can try reading such ROM IC through this programmer. There is a connector at the backside of the programmer. This connector is connected. This connector is connected through this connector which is at the backside of the SATA controller card.
For this, a programming cable of this type has been provided in the package. It is used to connect both units. Friends, there are 8 different hard disk UART connectors available in MRT tool package. These connectors are used to connect hard disk and UART device. The size and pinute of these connectors are different, so that different hard disk of different companies can be connected. Terminals of the hard disk can be connected to these connectors. Here, we can see that this attachment is for the Seagate company hard disk. There is a 4-pin connector at the front end of this connector. Here the first pin is TX, second pin is RX, third pin is ground, and the fourth one is NC. Here a track is visible which is connected to the front pin as well as the back pin. These hard disk UART connectors are connected to the UART adapter. For this two UART connector cables are provided in the package. We can connect these connector through these cables. MRT Ultra package contains four SATA supply cables of this type. The latex connector at the back side of this cable is connected to the SATA controller card and the other side is connected to the hard disk. Four high-speed SATA cables are also available in this package. Let us now check that how all these cables can be attached to these connectors. Guys, we can see the pinouts at the backside here. When we see it properly, then we notice that there is square solder marking on the PCB of the first pin. All the other pins have round solder marking. Similarly here, at the back side also the first solder pin is square. And all the other pins are round in shape. In the same way on the other connector also, the first pin has square solder marking. And all the other pins have round marking. Now let us check attachment cable. A red line is visible at one side of the cable. This is the first pin. When we connect the attachment to the cable, then the first pin of the attachment is connected to this red line. A red line is visible at one side of the cable. This is the first pin. So we connect all the cables according to this. So guys, in this session we discussed MRT Ultra and its all attachments and connections. In the next tutorial, we will discuss MRT installation and software overview.